Hello, welcome back to the vlogs. I myself haven't vlogged in a couple days, so I feel a little weird. Like, how do I vlog? I don't know why I always feel the need to tell you guys the weather, but I have to tell you, it's one of the coldest days ever. It is currently 12 degrees. I don't know why I'm leaving my house, but yesterday I didn't leave my house at all, only to like walk Max a couple times. And I was just like, it's too cold. I'm not going out. And then today, I can't use that as an excuse again. Like, I kind of do need to get out the house. I mean, I did get out the house. I went to work out this morning, but right now I'm heading to the mall. I just feel like going to the mall and just walking around, just getting out of the apartment because I've been working nonstop. You guys, I've been filming a ton and I'm very excited for everything that I have coming up on my channel, like all the videos that I've been filming for you guys. You guys are also very excited, so thank you for that. And this morning we hit 97K, which I am so grateful for. Thank you guys so much. Look, I kinda just wanna go to Zara and H&M, see if I find any cute things. If I find stuff, maybe we can do a haul on a supper video. But if I only find like a couple things, then I'll just show you guys here. We'll see how it goes. shopping i'm gonna show you guys when i get home which items from zara i ended up taking and then i also stopped by sephora i'll show you guys what i got from there also we are home now and i want to show you guys what i picked up hey there's nothing in there for you hun oh my god nema knows your dog these two items you guys saw in the store i ended up getting the black jeans i got them in a size excuse me sir I got them in a size 36, which for Zara, it's a size US 4. And the style is the high waist skinny. And I really, really love these. My only other Zara jeans that I have, I think I have like two Zara jeans or three. They aren't high waisted and I don't love the fit. Like I'm just like a really big fan of high waisted jeans. I feel like they just look so much better on your body. Well, for me anyways. So yeah, I, I'm really glad that I tried the high waisted ones. Lately, I've been looking past Zara jeans, but when I saw that these were high waisted, I was like, for sure, I want to try them on. And I don't have a pair of black jeans, and I really wanted one. So I got those, and then I got this top, which you guys also saw me try on. I don't know if it's considered like a mock turtleneck. Not really. It's not that. I don't know. Because it's pretty high, but it's not too high like a turtleneck, which I liked. The sleeves aren't super long. The sleeves are like... What length is this? I did also take home the leather skirt. I thought it was so cute. I tried on the small, but it was a little bit big, which I was surprised because I'm surprised because some of their stuff runs really small. And then some things run really big. And I feel like these, these are one of the pieces that runs kind of big because I like never wear an extra small in their stuff. But I loved how this skirt fit. I'm actually gonna try this on right now because I didn't try the extra small in at the store. I only tried on the small. And then these two last items I did not try on. I'm going to try them on right now. I went back because I really wanted a high-waisted pair of jeans in blue. And I went back and they didn't have the exact style. Instead, they had... Where's the name of this? Okay, here it is. The 80s high waist. These feel a little less stretchy. And they also seem a little bit more skinny on the leg. And I got the same size. I hope that it fits. It looks a little bit small. So I don't know. I'm going to try them out right now. And then I got the black top. I liked it so much that I ended up picking up a white one because I feel like you can never go wrong with white and black basics. And this, again, I got in a medium, by the way. And it fit perfect in a medium. And again, I'll probably wear these tucked in with my jeans. I'm going to try them on together right now. 
these are the jeans and they do they feel like more like regular jeans the other ones i feel like they have more of a stretch to them either way the same size still fit me i do i love the wash of them this is like my favorite color wash i don't like when they're too dark and then this is the top in white the same exact one that i got in the black one my dog is always barking you guys everything fits really comfortably i really like these jeans i got three things from sephora one is a new soy fresh cleanser i'm about to run out of mine so i have to pick up a new one best cleanser ever i'll link my skincare video for you guys down below so you can check it out i wanted to give this a try this is the huda beauty setting powder and i was playing with it in the store and it just felt so soft so the next time i do my makeup i'm gonna try that which will probably be tomorrow and then i am trying out a clear self tanner i know this looks so weird but it's called it's from the brand tan lux which my friend sam oscar all here on youtube put me on so thank you sam we both picked up a product from tan lux together which let me go grab so i can show you guys and we both really ended up liking it all right so this is the product that i've been using from tan lux this is a face oil that you put at night and you can mix it in with your moisturizer to get a little glow in the morning sorry i'm a little like red because i was doing a little derma planing on my face but um this guy i really do love and i just realized today when i went to the store that it comes in two shades i have the one that's light medium and there's also a medium dark which for me the medium dark would have worked a lot better because i, I naturally can tan very easily in the sun like I get dark naturally i already use a lot of it i threw the receipt out i can't even exchange it but I'm, i am gonna keep it it's still good but for sure the medium dark would have worked better for me and i can't believe that i didn't realize that there were two options and then this one i made sure to get the medium dark this again they had the light medium option and then they had a medium dark option and this is the tan the brand is called tan lux like i said and this is the water so it's literally a water that you spritz on, you rub it in like circular motions, and it gives you a tan. I'm just interested in seeing how it works and letting you guys know, because it is pricey, and if it's not worth it, I don't want you guys to spend your money. But if it's worth it, I'm probably going to be spending my money all the time on this. I love self-tanning, I love getting spray tans, and I love trying different self-tanners. I feel like I've tried probably all of them. So whenever I get a good one that works, I get very excited. I feel like the lighting is better here than in the bathrooms right now. So I'm going to do my face here and then I'm going to do the rest of my body off camera. The only weird thing that I saw is that it doesn't say whether you're supposed to leave it on for a certain amount of time or if you're supposed to wash it off in the morning or something. Normally a self tanner will say the color will develop in six to eight hours and then you shower. But this, all it says is spray onto dry skin, blend with tanning mitt using large circular motions from head to toe, thoroughly wash hands after. And it says it's a unique vitamin infused purified water with natural tanning activities to, oh, okay, here we go. To illuminate. <laughs> okay, the TV just turned on by itself. That wasn't scary at all. Guys, the TV just turned on by itself. I have like chills going up and down my body. Like I'm home alone and the TV just turned on by itself. What? Even Max is in here with me. Like what the fuck? house and it's going to be risky and you never know what you've got until you walk through that door oh my god i have chills like i have legit chills all over my body i can't focus i'm about to cry like that was so creepy <sighs> what am i what am i gonna do if somebody was in here um okay i'm gonna try not to think about that that was really really scary and I wish Chris was here with me because now I'm just going to be freaked out the rest of the night. Happened. 
Okay, let's just move on because I cannot even focus on that. So, it does say that, I can't even focus. So, let me start over. It says, this is a unique vitamin infused purified water with natural tanning activities to illuminate and hydrate the skin. Quick drying transparent formula delivers a radiant tan within four to six hours no streaks no smells no drama so it does develop with in, within four to six hours um what time is it it's five o'clock right now literally 502 so i'm gonna put it on and just wash it off in the morning and try not to think about my tv turning on by itself <laughs> that was uh scary shit ever i'm gonna put it on my face Actually, I'm going to take this watch off. It does spray a lot of product. And it, oh, that smells like perfume. That smells really good. I hope it's safe for the face. All right, I'm going to spray this on the rest of my body and I will be right back. Sorry, my face is very red now because, um, like I said, I was dermaplaning, which is like when you take a little... Um, I cannot speak a little razor and like you get rid of like your little peach fuzz you can get this done at a doctor's office but to me it's like i could just do it myself <laughs> and not spend that money so after i put the product on top of that this was a bad idea um so yeah um i would not <laughs> don't do what i did in dermaplane and then try to put the product on because i know the only reason i'm red is because i did the dermaplaning first and usually I do dermaplaning and then put my skincare on top and of course I just didn't want to wait and I wanted to do the water but it's totally fine the redness is going to go away in a few minutes um and then I put the water on I only did it on my chest and my arms I'll explain later actually because I'm a little freaked out and I need to go just sit down and say a little prayer hi baby let's go where the lighting is a bit better because I want to show you guys my results from the water self tanner it's so nice and bright in this room it's like the only bright room in the house right now now that the sun goes away so quickly all right so i used the tan lux water self tanner last night and look at how dark i am i am so dark and it's very even oh my god my hands are a little too dark it's very very even um, the only thing is like I have a mark here because I use my hands to rub it in because you have to like rub it in circular motions and then I had to wash my hands so doing it with your hands is definitely a no for me I went ahead I went to um, Target I went to Ulta earlier today and I picked up a tanning mitt so that next time I want to do it I can just use a tanning mitt and get like a really even tan on my hands as well because definitely washing it um messed up the color but i'm surprised at how even whoa it looks really dark on camera i mean i am pretty dark i'm surprised at how even that soft tanner is because it's water it's clear you can't see it also when something is a spray form you don't know where it's spraying exactly but i guess rubbing it in and helps and it does spray a lot i will say that like when you spray it you're getting like a lot of the product on you I really like it. I feel like it's the easiest self tanner I've tried in a very long time. It dries pretty quickly. Oh my god, it smells like perfume. It smells really good. After a while, like after a few hours, I would say like after two to three hours, it starts smelling a little bit like self tanner. And then in the morning you wake up and it definitely smells like self tanner. But in the beginning, it smells so good. Like I actually would wear that perfume. Like whatever that scent is, it smells really good. And I liked it. It was very easy. And I've been like, I started getting more spray tans because the whole self tanner thing had become really annoying. Like it, it's a lot of work. I'm, I sound so lazy right now. But sometimes it's a lot of work, like rubbing everything in, make sure, making sure like it blended out right. And I feel like I was having trouble finding self tanners that I really loved. I don't know if people were changing formulas or what, but I wasn't loving everything that I was using. And just getting a spray tan just is so much easier but i will say i really like that water thing it was very very easy i love how even everything came out like what in the world i have no like splotchiness or anything it's so even i didn't do my whole body because 
I am in the process of getting laser hair removal and my appointment's coming up in two weeks. You can't have any spray tan, self tanners, sun exposure two weeks prior to your appointment. So I literally only applied the self tanner on my arms, my chest area, and my face and the rest of my body is super pale like my legs are so pale right now it's very pricey it's very pricey and i just realized that they're also sold at ulta when i was looking for the tanning bed at ulta they had it there so i'm i wonder if you could use the ulta coupons on it because i know ulta is really annoying with the coupons like it can be used on certain brands but I'm gonna try it next time and buy the tan looks products there instead of sephora this weather makes me not want to do anything it just makes me feel really lazy it's so dark in here so i don't know what to do i kind of want to declutter my clothes i saw this episode of i saw one episode of this show on netflix with marie kondo she's like a decluttering expert she wrote a couple books and in the first episode, I don't know about the rest of them, but in the first episode, they did this thing where they decluttered the people's clothing. And I really want to do that. I just don't have the energy to do it right now. But I think I'm going to do that pretty soon. Or maybe later. I don't know. I think I just have to eat. You know, like when, you, when you're feeling really tired and a little cranky and then you eat and then you realize, oh, that's what I had to do. I just had to eat a little food to get my energy back in. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to eat something. Who am I kidding? I really don't want to declutter my clothes right now. <laughs> I feel like that's a project I have to start early one day. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Today we're doing... Today is week four, day two, and we're doing um, cardio and the rest is focusing, I think, on lower belly, which is really good because we need to do lower belly so i wore my sweet sweat band i'll link it below for you guys it comes in different sizes i use a size small some people were confused this isn't a waist trainer like it doesn't cinch your waist to make it smaller what it does like the material that it's made out of it makes you sweat a ton so if your one of your problem areas is your belly this is really cool because it's going to make you sweat like 10 times more than you normally would if you didn't wear this they also sell it for thighs they sell it for arms i bought the arm one but i think it's somewhere back home in jersey and it did make you sweat a lot but i used to i feel like it just looks so weird when you wear the arm one it's so embarrassing for me um but the belly one so easy to conceal i wear it all the time when i work out but i know i'll still get questions but i want to make sure that i link it for you guys and if i forget to link it it's they sell it on amazon it's literally just called sweet sweat band yeah all right so i just took a shower and i wasn't going to film today i know there's a lot going on here i wasn't going to film today but i ordered this from fashion nova and i got it a few days ago so after i showered i was like you know what let me try it on let me see how it fits and i was like okay i this needs to be a whole look like i need to film a sporty valentine's day look i was going to film one more valentine's day look but i was going to make it like a classic red lip wing liner look and i was like you know what there's so many of those and i've already done like red lip classic kind of look so i was like i'm just gonna do another pink look all of my valentine's day looks have been pink i already filmed one that was like really full glam and it was like mauvey pink cherry vibes and now i'm gonna film another pink one and i don't care because i just need <laughs> I feel like I need to film a sporty one because I'm always in athleisure. So I'm going to do a sporty Valentine's Day look. I mean, the makeup is going to be glam. It's not going to be like sporty, but hey, the look is sporty. And I am so bright right now, you guys. Like this is neon pink. It is so bright. It's Sunday and I usually like to relax on Sundays, but I'm actually pretty hyped. So I'm going to, I'm getting ready to film i already have my stuff set up so now i'm just grabbing a kombucha so i can get more energy even though i had a venti coffee that's probably why i'm like off my rocker right now like i have a lot of caffeine in me i had a venti coffee i'm gonna have kombucha hmm what flavor should i drink i think i'm gonna do pomegranate to go with the pink vibes 
we're just gonna do everything pink today like everything that's pink even if we don't want it we're just gonna do it because why not today's actually the super bowl which i don't really care i don't even know who's playing i think it's in atlanta this year that i do know because it's been all over social media but i don't even know who's playing would it be like the falcons or it doesn't mean or <laughs> forget it i don't know nothing about sports so let's not even have this conversation <laughs> Let's see. I really need to get a monitor because I can't see that tiny screen if I'm in focus, if the lighting is okay. I think I'm gonna go this week to Best Buy and see if I get a monitor or if not, I'll order one off Amazon because I did see some on Amazon. Okay, I think that lighting is okay. Seriously, this is one of my favorite looks ever. It's very similar to the one I did with the inner corner pop of blue, but I used a few different products including the lipstick and it's probably my new favorite lip combo right now. It's so perfect if you're a nude lover you're going to love this nude combo i also am sharing my outfit in the video so you're gonna get a full face of glam you're gonna get outfit inspo so if you want to see outfit details and makeup details it's gonna be in that video i'll link it below for you guys you might have actually already seen it because i do plan on posting it before the vlog hopefully <laughs> can you guys believe i'm still drinking my kombucha like full outfit you guys full outfit i love this look this look is so cute i just want to stay in this pink all day oh, i'm also getting really hungry um so i think i want to make some lunch soon oh my god it's already two o'clock do you like mommy's look is it too much for us no i had my sneakers on and everything sitting here waiting for chris to come home so you can see the full look but He's still not here, so I'm taking my shoes off. I don't like walking around in shoes when I'm home, especially because this whole place is carpet. Back to slippers it is. I think we're gonna order food, but in the meantime, I wanted to eat some chips. Oh my God, you guys, these are so good. I know I've shared them before, but they're really so good. If you don't like spicy, you might not like them. I mean, I don't like too, too spicy. I mean, it, it gets a little spicy, but I don't like really spicy, and I feel like I can handle these. I got them from I got them from Trader Joe's and they are so delicious. I think while I wait for everyone to get here, I'm gonna watch a little TV. I don't even know what time the Super Bowl starts. I could really care less. We're gonna do a little Marie Kondo style segment right now. I watched one episode. I think I told you guys earlier, like earlier in the vlog, but I watched one I watched one episode of her series on Netflix. And it was very heavily focused on the clothing part. And I want to declutter. Why are you licking me? <laughs> I want to declutter my clothing. It has become a ginormous mess. And I can't function when things are out of order. I like everything to have its place. I even color coordinate my clothing in the closet. That way I know exactly where to look for something. Like it's a hot mess. So I'm going to take everything out of my closet and we are gonna separate the piles of clothes that I'm gonna keep and clothes that I'm going to donate. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> I've never done it this way. Like normally I just look through my clothes and I pick some stuff out and I'll donate it, but I've never actually taken everything out of my closet and done it that way. <sighs> I feel like we're gonna feel really good after this. It's like a cleanse. And tonight is a new moon. We have to cleanse to make room for the new. I still this is like everything that was hanging I still have just a couple things hanging and I have some things in the drawer but I'm gonna leave that for last I'm gonna get started with this first because this pile is humongous like let me just show you guys wow this is just way too much I want to simplify my life I want to declutter I want to I give away my clothes very often so this is just like the craziest way I've ever done it.
done. These are a couple things that I put to the side to possibly sell on Poshmark. I have to look through them again. This is everything that I will be donating. These are the items that I kept. And like I said, I like to kind of color coordinate them because it's easier for me to find things. This is everything that was hung that I took off the hangers that I'm donating. Like, look at how much clothes I actually donated. That is a lot. And even some things that weren't on hangers. I also started organizing some of my drawers. So these are sweats, leggings, jeans. I feel like I don't want, I donated a ton that I don't wear anymore. And these are pretty much like my favorites. I wanted to keep things that I felt really excited about. Like that I knew like, okay, I'm going to wear this and... This is my favorite because otherwise I end up not wearing it. And that's exactly what Marie Kondo does in her, um, on her show. She tells you to ask the clothing, does this spark joy in me? Like, does this spark joy? And that's literally what I was doing, all the clothes. And then you got to say goodbye to your old clothes. Thank them for what they've brought to your life and gently put them aside. I'm kind of tired. My back hurts. This is not a cute angle, but I'm tired. <laughs> oh crap. I have to leave for my nail appointment right now i don't even have time to chill i almost forgot to show you guys my nails i got them done a little while ago and i gotta get good lighting to show you guys i feel like this is the best lighting we're gonna do but here are my nails i went with this sheer color that had this iridescent like flakes to it and i thought it was so pretty I wanted something kind of pink, like just a touch of glam for Valentine's Day. And this was it for me. I didn't want anything too crazy. I feel like it looks a little bit better here. But look at that, look at that when it moves. Chris is sleeping. And Max is over here by me because he can never leave my side. But I think I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.